Hey everybody, so yeah, it's um, it's 3 o'clock in the morning, and uh, I'm up early to catch the Neowise Comet. I got to bed a little bit er I went to bed early, um, it was a bit cloudy, so no loss there, and it theoretically it's cleared up sometime about 1 or 2 o'clock in the morning, so we're going to go out and see how much that's true. Um, Neowise is currently out in Ar Aruga Constellation which is in the northeast sky. Not really the best area for me right now this time of year with the trees and everything, but I'm going to see if I can get out there and sort of snick it. And uh, yeah, so um, I'm going to be using the Nikon 105 millimeter 2.5. It's my sharpest wide-end lens. Um, the reason I'm using this is because I want to get it in the sky, um, but also because I want a nice wide shot of it to show it in the sky with hopefully a nice tail. And uh, yeah. That's the one we go with, um, rather than something super high magnification, to which I'm like, oh, there's another comet. Um, and hopefully get it right now, although it apparently gets better as you get closer to 4 o'clock. But the sun will be rising pretty soon, so it'll be a question of can I get it right now, or do I have to wait until 4 o'clock when the sky starts to disappear. But it apparently is visible until somewhat early twilight in the morning, so uh, we'll see how we go and what we get. A fudge muffin moment in astronomy history where we come out here and it's just clouds. Lots of clouds. So we'll see if it uh, clears off and uh, if, uh, yeah, we get to see this comet or not. So we're on night two right now. Two, it's completely clear. So we're gonna jump in the car and uh, we're gonna head drive north and uh, hopefully get a nice low horizon and get a really nice shot of this comet given that we've now woken up for two mornings. You know, make it worth our effort. And here's the first photo I got, and my, it was absolutely clear, apparently it was only valid in the southern direction. In the northern direction, we did have this sort of light cloud soup. So I ended up uh, taking this image with the Nikon 105 millimeter f2.5, and then I went and decided to pull out something a little bit more drastic. So next I took my 300 millimeter f4 Nikon lens with a 1.7 uh, adapter on the back and I took this photo. It's essentially 510 millimeters at f6.7. Um, this is a stack of eight photos. Originally there was nine but one of them was a bit iffy and this allows us to see a lot more detail in the comet. As the cloud structure moved I was able to sort of pull it out. I would have liked to have gotten more data in order to get an even better comet picture, but the reality is that this is so early in the morning that the sun is actually brightening quite quickly. And by the time I packed up and drove home, the comet, you know, I looked in the sky again and Venus had risen quite high, but the comet was nowhere to be seen. It completely blown out by the morning sky. So it's currently 5 a.m. here. I just processed all these images, uploading the video, yeah, so thanks for watching and good morning, but I am going to bed.